Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So I have seen your messages about things that you can do for volleyball while you're at home because we're all at home. So right now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you four things you can do by yourself at home to keep your volleyball games on par. Let's get right into it. So there are a couple of things that you need when going outside. An open space, I have this container here I found inside my closet, lucky find, and a volleyball. And those are all of the things you need to do these drills by yourself. Drill number one, ball control. Now I know we work a lot on ball control when we're playing with our team and when we're at practice. We wanna be able to control the ball and not the ball control us. That means that we wanna be able to pass correctly and be able to get underneath the ball and stay near us. So what I'm gonna do is a couple of ball control exercises like passing it to myself, trying to remain low, trying to keep my platform straight and making sure it's hitting the correct part of my platform. And then after I feel like I'm warmed up and ready with that, I'm going to implement adding the tub that will give me a target. But y'all see the sun right here? I felt the sun shining on me right here. Now the best part about adding the empty tub is that it gives you a set target, especially if you don't have anybody else to play with. And the best, also another great part, is that you can change the distance that the tub is to give you a better passing distance. So if you're a beginner and you're just now working on your passing, keep the tub kind of near you where you can make sure to try to get it in there. If you are more advanced, try to do a couple passes before you try to get it inside of the tub. Now let's follow up with drill number two, set control. Going to be 100% honest, I am not the strongest setter. I've been working on it for a long time, so this is much more necessary for me. Using that same tub, I'm gonna practice my setter hands. That means keeping the ball right on top of me with ball-shaped hands, trying to ensure that I don't have a double, and trying to make sure I can get it into the tub. Now, moving the tub is essential here, especially when you're trying to work on longer distance sets or sets that are right in front of you. So you can move the tub to make sure that you're practicing the skill you really want to practice. Moving on to drill number three, serve practice. Now I have featured the volley pal in a number of my videos and the best part is I'm giving one away today. So you need to comment below what's one thing you want to work on right now for your volleyball skills and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now we're going to use the volley pal when we're working on our serve control because I want to make sure that the ball comes back and I don't lose it because I'm somewhere outside. So when you're working on your serve with the volley pal, you want to make sure to keep that serving arm strong, keeping that toss correct and working on your toss and ensuring that you're making sure to step in. So all of those concepts that I taught in the overhand serve video, this is your chance to practice that at length. So the volley pal is really great because it comes right back to you. And even if you want to get one and enter the giveaway, I will have the link in the description for where you can find a volley pal. Last but not least, drill number four, the hitting approach. Now, a lot of people forget about this, but this is one you need to practice a lot. And when I was in high school, I would leave practice, go home and practice my hitting approach, like for real. You need to make sure you understand the concept. If you're left-handed, you need to know your approach. If you're right-handed, you need to know your approach. And the best way to do that is to start working on memorizing the footwork. I do have a video teaching about more about the footwork. So if you wanna watch that, go to my playlist. But this is a great chance for you to learn those concepts that you couldn't work on in practice. I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll see you guys next time.